Why do you have a magazine on your lap? I have a magazine in my lap because this is the Women in Rock issue of Rolling Stone. And in it, Liz Fair, Chrissy Hine, and a number of other women singers talked about the influence that Joni Mitchell had on them, what an inspiration she was. And it doesn't just stop there. People as disparate as Prince and any number of folks you want to think about. Formerly known as. No, no, he was Prince when he liked her, take it from me. Okay. And he was a real big fan of her. A number of singer-songwriters have been, are, and will be. I caught up with Joni in Los Angeles a couple of days ago. She's at a gallery opening featuring some of her artwork and talking about her new album, Turbulent Indigo. And this is what she had to say. One of the interesting things about the new album, obviously, is uh, there's a song, Sex Kills. Yeah, and that's... it's about women who get beat up and the doctors that patch them up, you know, and the doctors, you know, are as careless as the men who battered them. Well, it's a great line about seeing justice on the license plate and just ice yeah. is just as cold. Yeah, 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 is justice just ice? Well, is it? Seems to be. You know, everybody wants justice. Nobody knows what it is. There's one song that seems to be about another singer on the album. Oh, no, let's not play whodunit with my songs, okay? Okay, but yeah. it, it seems to be about a very sort of public, maybe I'm mistaken here. Yeah, like, the, look at yourself in it. If you don't see yourself, see, so, you know, I, they're not meant to... I think it limits a song to think that I wrote it meet me with someone in mind. Now, I'm a fairly modern woman. I'm a kind of a libertine. You know, I'm not a feminist. Okay. You know, like, I don't believe, it's too apartheid. You know, I like men, you know, I like their company. Nobody's battering me at this time, you know, like, but at the same time, I think so many men and women are in trouble. I mean, I would have optimism that some guy who just battered his wife would, would hear that song. I mean, this is really dumb, okay? And like, oh, and repent. <laughs> I mean, you sort of came right after the period of sort of the Phil Spector type stuff where women were just sort of rigidly produced and right, basically right, did right. one thing. They're high girls, like in Japan. Hi! <laughs> and you weren't a high girl. You were more like kabuki. It was like theatrical. Yeah. You were more well, expressive. I'm Billy Holiday and Edith Piaf were my heroes. And they're more theatrical singers. They really had a tone unlike anyone else. It was like... No matter how rough it got, it was there, there, baby, you know, like, I mean, that era, no matter how screwed up people got, they still had good heart, you know. I think the, the, the cocaine era, with the coming of that drug, that, that it became more cerebral and, and the heart went cold or something, I don't know. You mentioned Billie Holiday. People who suddenly led kind of wild lives and were thought to be mad one way or another, and there's Van Gogh who's yeah, thought yeah. to be mad. You're attra are you attracted to that kind of... Well, I'm one of them. <laughs> you know, we're, we're all, you know, mad with creation. What do you mean? Well, we're just kind of delirious with creation. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like a fever burning in you, you Well, saying? no, 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 no. I mean, you know, I, I want to go the distance, and I don't want to burn out prematurely. Ahead of my gift, you know? I don't want to... Jimmy went before he was finished. I was just going to say, you, you got know, Jimmy on the right. other side. Well, he, 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 every time you change, you want to have a new period, you have to put up with rejection. Jimmy was ready for his next period, but, but the audience was rejecting him. He's out there burning his guitar, you know, and, and licking the strings. He didn't want to do that anymore. You know, it was painful to him. It was humiliating to him. He did that already. It was embarrassing to him. He wanted to just stand there and play serious music and get himself a big brass section. But whenever t he tried to, like, let go of the flamboyant aspects, which were humiliating to him by then. You know, the people would go, oh, Jimmy's not himself, and they'd rain on him, kind of. So it was very emotionally difficult to take the rejection necessary to make to head into your second period. So if you're going to be in the game a long time, and you want to keep it interesting for yourself, you're going to want to change.